Welcome to the month of April. The excitement in the art world is visible here in Nigeria. There are so many events lined up this new month. And we'll be telling you some of them on this week's edition of the program. A warm welcome. I'm Melinda Akinlami. We have several things such as the watercolor exhibition on Lagos mainland and much more. So stay with us for the details. Art is not static like culture. Art changes its form with the times. It is important to remember that like babies, dreams are conceived, but not all dreams are born alive. Some are aborted, others are still born. The content series continues at Adam and Eve in Lagos. And this time, the organizers are showing off the watercolor masters. Take a look. It's the third in the series of the content edition, and this time around, the focus is on the watercolor medium of painting. The event has attracted distinguished personalities like the Oni of Ife, Adeyeye Eniton Gunsi, who is taking through the works of art on display. Seven artists have been picked to show the beauty of this medium, and they have been dubbed the watercolor masters. When I started art, I started art uh, from what they teach us in school. Um, they teach us in school to do art and we do art with oil on canvas and things like that. But I got fascinated with watercolors because of the way it allows my color to flow. It allows me to the freedom to express myself. So I did a lot of watercolors in school and uh, I didn't realize that I was going to be a watercolorist until um, an art competition was held in 1983 and there was a, just the press just made me a watercolorist because I've read in the news the only watercolor piece wins first prize. So that fascinated me. And I began to think that watercolor is something to really look at. So I kept painting watercolor and uh, shortly after I started lecturing, I started t I encouraging my, my students to work with watercolor. And uh, gradually and gradually, I just found out that I was a watercolor artist. Not too many people are painting watercolor that much anymore. And so, for those who appreciate art, it's a welcome breath of fresh air for them. For those who just like beautiful things, you know, beautiful art that can, you know, um, decorate their homes and their spaces and so on and so forth, it's also been, it's also been good for them to see this particular medium and see what can be done with it. You know, it's one of the delicate mediums that people paint with, that artists paint with. So it's, it's nice. I mean, we have quite an array of works, different artists, we have eight different artists and so many kind of different approaches to it that has, you know, made excited people. So it's, it's been, the response has been, has been fantastic. <laughs> Most of the pieces have white frames and are really colorful, irrespective of the size. The work right behind me is titled Lagos Hustle and Bustle. It's just a, uh, my impression of the daily routine in Lagos, where you see young men and girls trying to make a living by trying to sell things, you know, hawking their wares and on the road. You know, it just tries, the painting captures the the survivor in Lagos. Lagos is um, it's known as a commercial city and everybody is seeking to make, you know, to find a way to do business in such a way that they can have things, you know, to make a living. It's a concept I developed when um, 
I started going to Ibadan. An institution in Ibadan, you know, was, they, they, they invited me regularly for exhibition. And um, after visiting, you know, like once, twice, it occurred to me that why don't I paint something from that environment? And one of the times I was driving into the town from the overhead, you know, I stopped and saw this marvelous view of the city. And what struck me most were the roofs, you know, and how the houses were just there. And it's so interesting that the roofs have become like one color. They're like brownish, rusty, red, oxide, and things like that. So I just started painting. And it's interesting that each time I paint, they sell fast. So it became, you know, um, even when I exhibit them overseas, the foreign community like it too. So I just kept walking around it. As an artist, I work with um, whatever is around me. I work with the things that I see every day. I work with the things that I encounter every day. The, the reason for me to work is to create art, and the inspiration can come from anywhere. Uh, first of all, I would say that I got fascinated working with fishes by just a title that came to my head, Fishes of Life. And I looked at uh, fishes, the shape, the shape of the fish, and I also looked at some symbols that I've come across, um, fishes, and I decided why not do something with fish. So I decided to create art out of fish. So I put the fish together. Maybe the inspiration came from my, aqu my aquarium at home with my goldfish as they uh, crisscross the aquarium. You know, but significantly, I would just I just try to create art from anything that is around me. The artists talk about what using this medium entails and why they have stayed true to it over the years, despite the fact that it's no longer popular. People are looking at mixed media, tangible art. Does not mean that watercolor is dying. If you say that we do not have so many watercolors these days, I would say yes, because watercolor is one very difficult medium to use. And uh, the materials that we use for watercolor, all the materials, none is gotten here. Uh, we buy them from Europe, we buy them from America, and it costs some money. Then young artists are unable to spend a thousand five hundred naira to buy one sheet of paper. So of course, what do they do? They go to other areas that they can just get the materials easily and improvise. But the true watercolorists are still working. Sam of Wright is working, Tayo Adenike is working, Lake Honobanjo is working, Sunwo is working. These are the people who are creating art uh, because they have to create art. And if you have to create art at any time, your material will not be an impediment to you. Most of the works are done with vibrant colors, but a section of them are done on black and white. I chose to present the works in this form, in black and white. Like we always say, let's say it in black and white. Okay, so from the choice of uh, colors, which in interest in two extremes, to the theme, the theme I'm dealing with here, uh, which I want to emphasize or highlight, is the spirit of enterprise in our society as driven by that segment of the social structure locating a very below, a slightly above poverty line in the family circle. Here I'm talking about the women. Now when we make policies in this country, when we take decisions, its consequences most times, especially economic policies or even social policies, it affects our entire being <laughs> in the area of provision. This exhibition, which is the brainchild of Adam and Eve, began in 2017. The aim is to show that the mainland can also hold its own when it comes to art shows. One year down the line, slowly but surely, 
The organizers say that the mission appears to be yielding results.